All right, so give us a sneak peek into what you're working on and what's to come. Drum roll, please. <laughs> um, <laughs> a couple of things come to mind. And granted, I've only been in the chair for a little while, so some of this is not fully baked yet. But I think one of the things that I would like to see is a formal mechanism by which we can get input from our, our participants, both current and former. Um, we're thinking about a community advisory board, building a community advisory board that can share with us, um, can share back to us their experience of our programs and how they've experienced, you know, post, pre and post our program and sort of give us feedback onto how we can do things better. Um, I think that is really an important sort of feedback loop that I would like to see built. Um, and so we're working on creating that mechanism. One of the other things I, I thought we might do is sort of recenter the work around single moms of color and really sort of think very intentionally about building robust programming that, um, that centers around their, their, partic their particular needs. I think we already do that to a certain extent, but really sort of lifting it up and being intentional about saying this is the vast majority of the people who are experiencing our services, so let's really sort of tailor our offerings for the black and brown women who are the majority of our clientele. Um, and the other thing I want to I want to say is that we are we need to initiate a strategic planning process. I think it's time. The environment is is changing rapidly around us, and I think that it's time for us to really sort of engage our staff and our board to uh, really sort of build an innovative, forward-thinking, strategic plan so that we can you know have a roadmap ahead of us to take us to the place that we want to be. And you know I love a strategic plan, so I'm all in on to help with that one. <laughs> I'll be definitely calling on you to help us for sure.